How's it going? This is Fox back again for Sound Design Tutorials. This is part one of a deconstruction of a 150 BPM trance track using only Synthmaster. Uh, I'm going to start with pluck one as it's at the top. I'm going to work my way through. I've done two plucks, a super saw-ish lead, a pad, a trance gated pad, and then I have got a bass line and a sub bass. But yeah, for today, I'm going to be going over this pluck. I'll play the whole solo, the whole group, and then uh, I'll solo the pluck on its own so you can hear it. So this is the group. Let me find where they're all in together. And they're not ever. So I might as well just solo this one on its own. Okay, there is a lot of delay on this as you can hear, that's what makes the sound a nice short plucky uh, plucky sound. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new instance within uh, Synthmaster. I only used one layer, layer 1. Click layer 1 on, keep layer 2 bypassed which is this blue switch here, so we're only going to be using layer 1. I use oscillator 1, 2 and filter 1 so you can go ahead and click these on. Oscillator 1 is a basic waveform. It's a sawtooth. I use four voices. Click this three, which changes the phasing of it. Detune down to zero. Um, I didn't touch anything else with the master controls on this. Also, like two, I changed to a pulse. And the way you change the pulse is the phase. It was about there, about a fifth of the way. Change this to four voices also. Check the free button for this as well. Detune at about 0.7 cents. The volume, I pulled this back so it wasn't as prominent as uh, oscillator A1. Turn the kept round full. Pan, didn't do anything with all the stereo. That's the basic element of the sound done. So the way we sculpt it is uh, with a low pass filter. I kept it on an analog filter. We've already turned the filter on in the layer mode. I want to pull the cut off all the way to almost zero being a low pass filter, an analog low pass filter and without any resonance you can still hear some of the sound coming through. We're going to open this filter up with an envelope and to do this we're going to use synth um, voice envelope 2 and the way you do this is you right click on the cutoff knob, go to modulation source, voice, ADSR envelope 2 and that correlates to this. We're going to set this envelope up now so that it's got a nice plucky attack going to look also uh, an awful lot like the ADS-1 envelope that you got here as standard but a little bit more plucky. We're going to dial the amount that we want it to go to all the way to full. So it's going to go from this position all the way to open. We don't want any sustain. And uh, the way you get this pluck now is you dial out the decay amount that you want. Add it just there, just underneath the A. We're going to back the decay. This is we're going to back the uh, decay level. We're going to back the sustain level off envelope one as well, which is the amp. And we're going to pretty much make this look like uh, envelope 2. So no sustain and then the decay point underneath the A.
didn't use any filter drive or anything like that. I just kept it nice and simple. So where we get all the width and everything is when we go to the FX section now. So we're going to go to the master effects. And the master effects that I used was an echo and a reverb. Now the reverb isn't on in this clip. I only use it later on when it broke down in here. And I assigned that to come in with modulation later on. So we'll leave that off for now. So 90% of the time there is no re reverb. So it's just an echo. So we click the echo on. For some reason there's a little glitch that they're trying to work out at the minute. As of when I made this film, you need to dial in bus 2 to hear the echo, even though it's in bus 1. So I dialed it to about plus 34, plus 2.75 cents. And the way I had the echo set up, I boosted the mix round a little bit more from standard to about 0.835. The width on maximum. Push the feedback round to about 0.15 probably a bit more feedback actually bit of drive going to give it a ping pong -y effect although we're not going to turn the ping pong on we're going to keep it synced and we're going to change the right to one over eight so they're different times I'm going to set up a bit of EQ and I didn't want it to affect the real lows of the sound so I just cut the lows off a bit and then I boosted the highs to give it this uh, sort of slanted M shape I did distort this a little bit, turned it on. Um, didn't really change the distortion shape a little bit. Sometimes I just pull it in a little bit to make it a little less S like. How I did have the reverb on when it came to the modulation was it was the mix wasn't too heavy. The size I had about plus 24. Time where it was at uh, where it's a standard distance about 30. And I always e EQ my reverb the same as what I did that the delay just so it's not doing any of the lows. You don't want to be reverbing any lows really. It's really easy to muddy your sound up. Makes it really spacey that uh, reverb does. I'm gonna uh, I'll show you when the, the reverb is on. It's in this section. In this section as well, the breakdown. There you have it, nice and simple, lovely trance pluck. This, I can't stress how good a synth this synth master is, really. It, it, the possibilities are endless. For somebody like me, I mean, when I was making this, I've made the track in two hours, so I wasn't going too in depth with the patches, but the modulation destinations and the things you can do with this are crazy. It is, it's mind boggling. But yeah, all the, most of the patches in this are quite simple. I think I only use one layer on all of them. So really easy to get a decent sound out of it using just the basic oscillators and some basic modulation. So yeah, the next pluck we're going to be going over is this one. Just fall on somewhere where there's no modulation on it. This.
This pluck had it was a lot lower and had a lot more movement to it, which is one I wanted. The way I got the movement is I used a vector oscillator, which means you can choose four waveforms, put it in each four of these boxes. It's like an XY an XY uh, pad in effect. And then I've set two LFOs to uh, move this around to like morph between the waveforms as the sound progresses. Even though it's a pluck, the LFO is free running, so when the plucks come in, you get the different elements of different waveforms coming through. So it makes it sound like it's changing to give it that bit of movement. But yeah, that'll be the next one that I'll do anyway. For now, the first one was this one again. Nice and simple floaty trance pluck. Uh, as always, make sure you subscribe if you've enjoyed this or any of my tutorials. I'll post the link in the bot in the description, which gets you to this track that I made in full, this trance track using only Synthmaster. Make sure you check out my Facebook and Google Plus page. It's Sound Design Tutorials. The best way to get hold of me if you need to contact me or you want to get in touch with me, ask any questions about Synthmaster or any of the other synths I use, is tweet me at Sound Design Tuts. I'm just going to play uh, a little bit of this to see you out, and then uh, I'll see you for the next one, which will be that second pluck. Okay, there it is. I'll play another snippet next time. Uh, I'll play a bit further on a bit, one of the breaks or something where it's got the pad and the, the super saw in it. But yeah, as always, make sure you subscribe. Thanks for watching. Cheers.